amazing landscape holds in its interior the crater of an extinct volcano, where under the blazing sun, the seawater crystallizes as the salt that gives the island its name. The Ilha do Sal, or Salt Island, is the northeasternmost of the ten islands and eight islets that make up the Cabo Verde archipelago. Located off the northwest coast of Africa, about 600 kilometers from Senegal. Its geographic location and the ocean give it a dry climate between arid and desert, where the barren land has a hard time dressing up in green. Nonetheless, the change underwater is radical. Its great geomorphological and oceanographic differences foster unique marine biodiversity with a wealth of species. As the scientist and naturalist Juan José Bacallado expressed so well, the sea has been the cradle of life, the support and punishment of some islands born from the depths, a blue two-way highway traveled by peoples and cultures, eager conquerors and scientific explorers, as it has always been and continues to be a witness to forced journeys of people searching for survival and justice. The Atlantic knows a lot about that. That's the Ilha do Sao. Its past tastes of the sea, and its future must be shared with the land. What is an island without the ocean? Nothing. It simply ceases to be an island and that doesn't worry us as long as it continues to fulfill its role as a source of food and leisure, pretending to be an organized territory where everything is going just fine. But is that true? The Mirpuri Foundation, along with an unusual group of scientists, decided to find out and to issue a verdict. Life in the sea is one of humanity's great matters of unfinished business, in which the continuity of our world as we know it today hangs in the balance. The researcher's family members join the project in active roles performing tasks like collecting specimens in tidal zones, the initial separation of samples, or searching directly in the laboratory trays, which allows a better use of the scientist's time. An accurate cataloging of the species that inhabit their respective ecosystems is a critical action for the conservation and the sustainable use of the natural resources. Knowledge is essential in order to protect and regulate. The motto and insignia of the Mirpuri Foundation's expedition to the Ilha do Sal that took place in July and August of 2019. The challenge enjoyed the participation of leading experts such as Dr. Espinosa, a National Marine Sciences Award winner in Cuba, and Dr. Ortea, who has described 853 new species of mollusks, of which 56 are from Cabo Verde, such as Mexichromis Paulo Mirpuri, named in gratitude for his support of this project. Con más de 40 años de trabajando la biodiversidad marina en todo el Caribe, el haber participado en esta expedición a las islas de Cabo Verde constituye una ocasión única para poder comprobar algunos de los procesos de especiación que han ocurrido en el Atlántico tropical en general. To get the most out of their efforts, 
they have focused on cataloging mollusks, which are present in all marine ecosystems and have a variety of feeding strategies. They eat everything and are the exclusive predators of the inedible, sponges, corals, anemones. Cataloging the mollusks makes it possible to know the catalog of their prey and to estimate the richness of the marine ecosystem. They're what's called a focal group for the study of marine biodiversity. Another advantage is that their taxonomy is well known, backed by abundant recent literature and renowned specialists. In this moment, thanks to the support of the Fundación Mirpuri, the results that we are obtaining in this expedition superan all the expectations for the resources and the medios that they have put in this exposition to accede to like ecosystems such as the submarine that we never had to show before. The work Dr. Ortea and his team have carried out at Cabo Verde over more than 30 years, in which the work of Dr. Leopoldo Moro stands out, has raised the inventory of sea slugs in the islands to 111 species, 46 of which are new to science, highlighting its great diversity and exclusivity with some exceptional specimens such as the Mundo de Tamja. A Brazilian species, the bright red Tamja divai, was unknown in Cabo Verde prior to the Mirpuri expedition. It was only found inside the Palmeira caves on the Ilha do Sal. En esta campaña hemos tenido la oportunidad de prospectar zonas que no habíamos visitado nunca, como las cuevas submarinas y otros complejos submarinos. Y hemos podido comprobar que a diferencia que en otras zonas que hemos prospectado en, en el Caribe o las Islas Canarias, en el resto de la Macaronesia, las especies más comunes son las más grandes y además son exclusivas de Cabo Verde. In addition, the sea slug's beauty has added extra value to publicizing and promoting Cabo Verde's fauna, even on postage stamps, with a series dedicated to them in 2011 that shows the Cabo Verdeans' fondness and respect for these animals. One of the most important results from this study, which was both unexpected and surprising, was the discovery of Mirpurina, a new genus of sea snails with direct development, of which 10 new species have already been described, three of them in the underwater caves of Palmeira. Caves are a bastion of unusual fauna, of delicate beings that find refuge in the permanent darkness, they're very fragile ecosystems that support unique creatures that we can't afford to lose. Microalgae, the planet's first inhabitants, are invisible to the human eye, but essential to life. They were another of the important objectives of this project, led by Dr. Emilio Soler, a world-renowned expert in microalgae research, aided by Dr. Juan Fernandez. Dentro de la expedición Mirpuri, uno de los objetivos principales es el estudio de las algas, en particular aquellas que no se ven, las microalgas, que pueden tener un efecto nocivo en la salud pública, así como en el medio ambiente. One quarter of all the carbon dioxide that we emit each year is absorbed by microalgae. What's more, they also produce a large part of the oxygen that we breathe. Las algas, y en particular las microalgas, son indicadores de gran importancia debido a la sensibilidad que tienen a pequeños cambios en los ecosistemas que habitan. Eh, su presencia, ausencia, así como su abundancia sobre todo, son fundamentales a la hora de hacer un control y seguimiento de estos pequeños cambios en los ecosistemas. Some of them because of their ability to produce toxins and their capacity for explosive growth, can seriously affect the environment and human health.
One of the achievements of the Mirpuri Foundation expedition was the identification for the first time of the microalgae that produce the toxins that affect not only invertebrates and fish, but above all, the health of the Cabo Verdeans. The extreme commercial pressure of tourism hasn't eliminated scuba diving. In fact, the optimization of the training times for scuba divers has reduced the quality of the scuba diving experience, and many of the reefs that are exploited for tourism now have to support an excessive number of divers, with the consequent damaging effects for the whole ecosystem. Manta Diving Center in Cabo Verde has done an extraordinary job as regards environmental restoration by creating two artificial reefs, thus helping to recuperate the biomass lost and to reduce divers' impact on the natural reefs. O Manta Diving Center, com o apoio da Fundação Mirpuri, tem estado a desenvolver projetos na, na conservação ambiental. O Manta Diving Center já iniciou em 2006 a criação dos recifes artificiais, que está neste momento mais do que provado que é uma das grandes soluções para o turismo sustentável. The wealth of the marine life in Cabo Verde is still enormous, but there are already alarming symptoms of voids being left by many of its species. Esta expedição é uma oportunidade muito especial para se dar a conhecer a singular biodiversidade marinha do arquipélago de Cabo Verde. Está claro que só protegemos o que conhecemos e a diversidade dos pequenos moluscos e pistobranquios e gastrópodes de Cabo Verde é única a nível mundial. It's time to protect and to regulate. The future of the islands, tiny bits of rock in the immensity of the ocean, is unavoidably linked to the sea's health. This expedition has drawn a line from the past to the future. Opening the door to new scientific explorations in the Cabo Verde Archipelago.